Welcome students to tutorials point. So we have completed with database seeding and till now all the changes have been in our application and it is the time now to migrate these changes into our database. So let's see how to do that. So let's add migrations and specifically we will be doing something called as code first migration because code first migrations approach basically allows you to define model classes as we have already defined employee and office class as per the domain requirements via something called as plain old CLR objects okay so these are called as plain old CLR objects okay so we have complete control over the classes being written or implemented in code first migrations Okay. And they also allow you to create a new database or update an existing database based on these model classes by using something called as package manager console that we have seen in the previous video tutorial. Okay. So now that we have seeded the data or rather I should say we have just created the code within the configuration class to basically seed the data we will go and add the migration. So to add the migration what you need to do is you need to go into package manager console and just say add iPhone migration okay and this initial is nothing but the name of the migration okay and press enter. So what this particular command does is that it creates the code that is required for creating the database and creating the data within the database. Okay, so there are two things that needs to be done to successfully migrate from your application like uh, the classes from your application into the uh, tables in your database. First thing is adding a migration. Okay, so that's what we have done here. So adding a migration as I said already it just creates the code. Okay, creates the code within your application within the migrations folder that can be used in the next step okay which is the step to actually go and execute that code on the database okay so now that it says that it is success let us go to our migrations folder okay if you go to our migrations folder you see that there is a file that got generated and its name is something timestamp okay the current timestamp underscore initial okay so if you click that basically it has an up method that basically goes and creates the table okay creates the table creates the primary key and uh, references the primary key okay and then it has also something called a down method that basically goes and drops all the index and foreign keys and tables so it has these two methods that are created okay so why this timestamp that you might be wondering like why this particular file instead of just having initial.c as it is having timestamp the reason is you might be creating you might be changing your models all through your development effort and each time you change you could possibly go and create a migration okay so when you finally go and execute the migration that we will do in just a bit it will see the timestamp okay at what point of time it is generated and according to the timestamp it will go and execute these commands onto our databases okay so to properly sequence the items properly sequence the migrations they have given the timestamp okay so now that we have created the migration it is time to go and apply this particular thing this particular method or execute this particular method onto a database because only then our code our model will be available within our database so let's go to package manager console and let's type update database okay so this update database method what it does is it it goes and executes this method up method within our uh, initial class in the migrations folder okay so once once it completes you can go and basically check the data that is being created and the schema that is being created okay so entity framework basically uses sql server local db engine 
to basically go and create the schema and the data okay so you need to have a SQL Server Local DB Engine to basically uh, run this operation successfully okay so now that it is a success what we will do is we will go to SQL Server Object Explorer and expand SQL Server and expand MS SQL Local DB and expand databases and if you see here our database is created with the same app context name okay so demo app context which is what the name is here and expand the demo app context and expand the tables you will be basically seeing the two tables that uh, we have created and one more table for entity framework migration history okay so basically you will be seeing uh, around three tables so this will have all the details of the migrations and if you go over here to the employees table you can go and basically do a right click and say view designer so if you see view designer basically it will show the schema of the table and the tsql query that it used to create the table if you want to see the data just right click on the employees uh, dbo.employees and just say view data so the view data basically will should show you the data that we have added through our configurations file seed method so this is the data that we have added and that's it with regards to adding migrations and uh, we will see in the next video tutorial on adding DTOs. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.